The victims in both incidents are in critical condition this morning here on Borden Avenue, Long Island City. It's pretty quiet at this time, but as we know, uh, traffic picks up throughout the day, and that creates some problems as city leaders say they've been trying to crack down on reckless driving, a problem we've seen for so many years, and they're trying to put new initiatives in place to make sure that uh, the roads are safer for people out there. But as we saw yesterday in these two hit and run cases, it's just very problematic. And this morning, police are still on the hunt for the drive of the stolen truck. According to police, the driver of a white pickup truck struck a 62-year-old man at 2110 Borden Avenue here in Long Island City. Police say the driver hit the victim with a stolen U-Haul. It happened just after 920 last night. The victim's in critical condition this morning at Bellevue Hospital. Within five minutes later, police say another hit and run in the same 108th police precinct happened near 61st Street and Roosevelt Avenue in Woodside. Police say the suspect also fled the scene after critically injuring the victim. The victim, a 29-year-old man, is being treated at Elmhurst Hospital in critical condition. These two hit and runs happening following a public safety address earlier on Wednesday. Mayor Attic Eric Adams says overall traffic deaths are down nearly 8% and traffic fatalities are also down nearly 8% from last year. He says in August, speed cameras recorded more than 755,000 speeding violations. That number continues to drop month after month. The mayor adds he will continue to work with partners in Albany to advance new legislation to hold drivers accountable. We want to get drivers with a history of dangerous driving off our road. They have become repeated offenders and abusers. We want to zero in on them, and that's how we get to the zero, uh, uh, the zero fatalities that we are looking for. No arrests have been made in last night's hit and runs. The investigations are ongoing. If you have any information, you're being asked to contact police.